uh, when I was looking at this this um, topic of taking a program to the next level, what came up to my mind is what's this next level we are talking about? Uh, because as uh, the previous uh, presenter said, the moment we take two steps, the, the criminals have taken ten steps. So how do we keep catching up with them? So uh, on, on, the, on the other aspect, when I talk to some of the senior bankers who have been working with me, and I, when I ask them, uh, how is your banking, how are you getting on, how is everything, and then they say, when we have time, we do bank. The rest of the time, they're basically running behind criminals. So the, the whole the industry has changed from those days where you go and have a conversation with the customer, have a cup of tea, do a transaction, you go and ask for his ID because you know him on a, on a very uh, personal basis has changed significantly. I think that's predominantly because banks have evolved not to be local banks, not to be domestic banks, not to be regional banks, but global banks. Their products, the channels that they use have become so innovative, sophisticated. The convenience that we try to give the clients has brought in new risk into the organization. Uh, you want them to do transactions on face to face, and so on and so forth. So let, let's touch on that a little bit. Uh, but I think it's also important to understand uh, because uh, we talk about the front line being burdened with so many activities. Are they really adding value to the whole PML process? Because we seem to be uh, using a one-size-fits-all kind of program in terms of uh, uh, applying our resources, systems in identifying, managing, and mitigating the risk that we are supposed to uh, to manage. Uh, so I think the risk-based approach is a very good thing. I think all banks should embrace. Uh, I come from an environment uh, which basically has been practicing risk-based approach for a long time uh, because. That allows you to really identify the risk that you are uh, exposed to as an organization based on what you do, where you do, what's the size of your entity. And then look at the mitigating controls that you've got to adapt in terms of uh, those relevant risk vulnerabilities that you uh, are faced with. Uh, so basically what it says is you identify your risk where the exposure is and you look at how you want to manage that risk in terms of the risk appetite of the organization. 